Hi everyone, welcome back to Neat Shorts. So uh, a lot of you keep asking that I am pursuing MBBS at the age of 30 and what are the pros and cons that I face or I think happen compared to you know if I would have pursued it at 18. So before I start, if anybody is new to this channel, hello. And I'm Akriti, I'm a Bits Filani engineer. I did my engineering back in 2010 because my 12th so I was 18 at that time and I worked in a couple of startups for about five to six years then I decided to switch to medicine because I was always passionate about it somewhere and this year uh, at 30 I joined NDMC Delhi which is a government medical college and I'm currently towards the end of first year uh, and my final exams are just around the corner so yes coming back to the question uh, the most important one I think and uh, its answer is not very simple and straightforward because I think uh, sub it can vary, very, uh, you know, it can vary a lot, and this is just my perspective. So feel free to disagree with it. And uh, but I think the most important, I'll start with the uh, pro, that um, I think the most beautiful part about doing this course at this age is that so many things make a lot of sense. I mean. Uh, I am just amazed by the facts that I am able to integrate them in my usual life. Matlab, for example, uh, you know, uh, I don't basically ratify everything. Uh, that may also mean that I get less marks than usual because of course, you know, MBBS may long answers likhne padte hai and it's not an MCQ based assessment. So I am not very great at assembling my uh, knowledge in terms of uh, long answers but I can definitely tell you that if at this age you're pursuing a certain course you're definitely mature than when you were 18 and you've seen a bit more of the world you've seen 12 more years so generally you know more about the world right because you've lived through it and uh, that actually helps a lot and that makes it even more interesting I mean imagine if I were to read MBBS subjects at 50 I would obvious that yes, this is the right thing, this is the right thing, because as you grow, you kind of compound the knowledge. And because uh, I'm an engineer, I basically have this ingrained in me that uh, I am not supposed to, you know, memorize. Of course, that is itself a con and a pro in my case because I refuse to road learn. And that also causes some problem because I don't because I try to find logics to everything and that comes in the way of, you know, exams specifically. Achha. The thing is uh, he, uh, at 30 you've kind of seen a lot of things and I've worked in certain organizations, managed teams, uh, you know I know what is important, what is not important in life. For example, uh, I can prioritize uh, in general like for example if I'm not feeling well today and let's say there is a small test tomorrow and uh, if I were 18, I would have gone all bonkers and been like, oh shit, I didn't study, what will happen, I will go two numbers, I will go one number here, one number here. It doesn't even matter. In the next 10 years, you don't even know, you don't even care about those marks, right? I mean, come on. Uh, you, do you guys even remember second standard mein kitne marks hai It's pretty much like that. Being a doctor is not about the marks uh, unless you are aiming to be a gold medalist or a distinction holder. Again, even though I, I think marks se farak padta hi nahi hai. it's about the knowledge and how much you can understand it so the end of five years when you go to the clinic i mean if you wrote learn it you will not be able to remember it but let's say you've visualized it you have basically you know discussed some with somebody and you have basically understood the concept it will stay here forever so prioritization comes easy i mean you know what is important what is not important uh, not just in terms of exams, in terms of life. I mean, uh, I very much want to live a balanced life throughout MBBS and I don't know if that is possible in MD, but I'll be able to balance it up slightly bit better than all of my batchmates because, hey, come on, I have been through that stage and I know that certain things are not important. And one thing is that, you know, when somebody says something to me, for example, uh, if I were 18 and I had a dart, I didn't have to study because I was this very obedient kid I have never been scolded by any teacher but because of course I am a bit more relaxed and I don't follow certain rules uh, generally so if I study I don't stress around it that oh man this faculty has said this what will they think now I I know a lot of my batchmates actually get so uh, bad because they are all trained to basically uh, you know obey teachers and uh, that's a good thing I am not saying that's a bad thing it's a great thing but I don't want to I mean it's okay if you give a dart, you get out of one hand and make sure that whatever they have basically scolded you for, 
apply if you think it's logical i mean it's okay if they've misunderstood by any chance and scolded you it's okay i mean big deal don't let it come to the fact that you're sad or depressed because of it i know a lot of my batchmates actually feel so sad that they will stay sad for a long time and then it it won't even make any difference you know they they have to get back i mean the teachers they forget the next day so itna dil pe nahi lena hota hai sab kuch and at that age when somebody says something to you you kind of take it so seriously i mean kisi senior ne kuch bol diya isne ye bol diya that's very normal but all i'm saying is that being 30 i can filter all that noise out and i can basically focus on whatever i want to focus and uh, when i was 18 when i was in bits like i was a student uh, i mean just studying studying all day तो मैंने एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज़ पे कभी फोकस ही नहीं किया यू नो आई वाज ऑलवेज अराउंड कि अच्छा मुझे तो दस सी लानी है इकोनॉमिक्स में मुझे आर्ट से ऊपर रखनी है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स uh, में माय होल लाइफ रिवॉल्व अराउंड दैट एंड आई थिंक दैट सर्टेनली मेस्ट अप विद माय ओवरऑल डेवलपमेंट समवेयर आई डिड मेक इट अप आफ्टर कॉलेज बाई डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट थिंग्स वेन आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग बट आई फील दैट इवन ड्यूरिंग कॉलेज इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू काइंड ऑफ सराउंड योर सेल्फ विद पीपल हु आर डूइंग डिफरेंट थिंग्स गेट एक्सपोज टू सर्टन थिंग्स नाउ इन माई कॉलेज एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज आर नॉट मच बट जो भी है आई मीन देर आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट थिंग्स टू डू सो डेफिनेटली यू शूड डू दैट लाइफ इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट घोटिंग द बुक्स एंड आई मीन एनी वे यूल जब एग्जाम्स आएंगे तो पढ़ना ही है यू शुड स्टडी एंड यू शुड अटेंड क्लासेज बट दैट इज नॉट लाइफ राइट एंड and one other thing that i want to say is that uh, i feel that if i were 23 24 graduating out of mbbs or let's say even 25 26 graduating out of uh, md today when i graduate out of md i'll be um, 38 39 and i think i can offer better patient care in terms of communication empathy understanding their problem giving them hope because that is what forms 80% of who you are as a doctor and not the medication that you prescribe i mean come on that's the golden rule of becoming a doctor right and uh, i don't know i mean uh, in the us there is a system that you have to basically do four year course before you can enter medicine i think it's a brilliant system because 23 year old interns or 23 year old doctors who just graduate out of mbbs cannot handle certain sensitive patient uh, uh, outcomes and cannot give hope to a 40 year old person who's basically coming to you uh, crying about uh, you know that he cannot conceive i mean i don't think we can even understand the problem at that time you are a kid yourself how would you guide somebody i mean medically you can but just imagine emotionally you cannot even resonate to a certain level and i think that is going to make a lot of difference in in my end because um uh, at 40 at 39 i mean i can pretty much handle a lot of uh, patient compassion in terms of giving them the right advice in terms of giving them life advice to be honest around a certain disease right and that's what i love about the fact that i am doing it at this age and it doesn't seem late at all right now coming to the cons puri din padhna padta hai yaar kafi zyada padhna padta hai not puri din but ha you have to study i mean um, and there are times when uh, i want to go out i want to do things because uh, my friends or my batchmates are doing certain adult things i mean they are vacationing they are you know spending a lot of money on certain things traveling uh, and i cannot do that because one i am uh, basically uh, not earning any more so i cannot basically go around spending anything i want on and also uh, time constraints are very odd i mean the whole january and february i have exams so basically i cannot do anything i want so for the next 8 9 years i think i'm pretty much stuck unless i uh, graduate out of md and basically try to you know do something so yeah i mean if you're ready for that and if you enjoy the process that should be okay but again it's not an easy journey and it's just been a year for me so pata nahi aage 6 7 saal mein how much frustrated i might be with the process right um uh, third thing i want to say is that that uh, you know uh, because i'm pursuing mbbs at this age uh, a lot of people just look down on you ki are kya zarurat thi they will discourage you basically you know that is everywhere i mean india mein to kuch zyada hi especially if you're a female they will anyway find ways to uh, be little you are shaadi nahi hui kya bachche nahi hue and all that now somebody of my uh, age who's doing it and may not be great at handling this i mean if let's say they are somebody who for whom it matters that you know what people are saying would be in stress because yes it's not easy to pursue certain things in india which are off beat i mean come on everybody will just make a hula la of it and uh, well i don't care much 
तो फॉर मी इट इज़ मोस्टली लाइक यू हिट मी इट्स लाइक अ वॉल एंड इट विल रेजोनेट बैक सो आई रियली डू दिस बट या फॉर पीपल इन जनरल आई मीन पीपल आस्क मी क्वेश्चन आई हैव टू आंसर देम एंड देन देर इज दिस होल नॉन सेंस ऑफ रैगिंग जनरली एवरी वेयर इन इन द वर्ल्ड वेर सीनियर्स आर लाइक हाँ हाँ आई एम सीनियर एंड देन दिल अननेसेसरीली कम एंड बेसिकली यू नो शो एटीट्यूड टू यू विदाउट एनी रीजन सो यू टू हैंडल ऑल दैट बट आई थिंक ओवरऑल माई जर्नी हैज बीन सो सैटिस्फाइंग बिकॉज येस द प्रोसेस इज डिफिकल्ट बट आई एम नॉट लिविंग फॉर द आउटकम ऑफ बिकमिंग अ डॉक्टर वन डे आई एम एक्चुअली एन्जॉइंग स्टडिंग मेडिसिन फैक्ट्स अ लॉट एंड आई मीन आई डोंट थिंक आई कूड हैव डन एनी थिंग बेटर एट दिस एज आई मीन आई हैव वर्कड इन डिफरेंट स्टार्टअप्स आई हैव सीन दैट लाइफ आई हैव मैनेज टीम्स आई हैव डन इंजीनियरिंग तो इट्स नाइस इट्स ऑनेस्टली नाइस इट्स अ रिफ्रेशिंग चेंज एंड I get up at my own time. अगर college नहीं है तो आराम से सोती हूँ चिल मारती हूँ I get time to do different things, and uh, I think life is good. Yeah, if you have any other questions specifically, so you can let me know in the comments.